Good morning K1 student How are you today? Today we will have the story from the character building And the title is Up a tree Meow Whispered pages as she waited by the car Pages was patiently waiting for Christy to come to open the car door for her. The family was going on a camping trip. Pages could hardly wait. For a week, Pages had watched while the tents, sleeping bags, pots and pans, camp stool, flashlight, and all the camping supplies were put together for the trip. Meow, meow, said Pages as she watched. Pages had never gone camping before. She was excited. Oh, the family was going. Daddy, Mama, and Christy come out of the house. Christy was carrying her pet and crayon so that she could draw in a car. Daddy carried a big picnic chest. Mama carried a thermos filled with lemonade. Hi, Patches, says Christy, smiling. Here we are. We are all ready to go. Christy opened the car door. Pages jump in. In another minute, the family was driving down in the highway toward the campground. Christy was quietly singing a little song. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad on it, and be glad on it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad on it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Soon, Daddy and Mama began to talk about all the things that needed to be done when they got to camping. First, said Daddy, we will unload all ten supplies. Then, Christy, you can help Mama set up the camp kitchen so we can have our stick cook out. Christy loves stick. They didn't have stick very often. Now, as a special treat for the camping trip, they were having stick. Daddy, I work really hard to help Mama with the camp kitchen. Oh, Daddy, thanks for getting the stick, said Christy happily. Pages was caught up constantly on Christy's lap. Pages has heard all the talk about stick. Pages' mouth watered because she knew she would get to chew on the bones. Yummy! The car was slowed down. They were almost to the campground. Christy could see the sparkling blue lake. Down near the shore, white the motor boots were tied. Here and there, Christy could see the rainbow-colored sailboat on the lake. It was just as Christy remembered from last year. Only last year, Pages didn't get to come. Christy wondered how Pages would like camping. Pages didn't like wet place. And she might get wet here. Christy 
would have to give Peaches much special attention to keep her happy. The family stopped at the gate, paid the park ranger, and drove off to their campsite. There was the last sight on the road. Behind their sight were tall oak trees and shrubs and vines. Daddy opened the door for Mama and Christy. Christy stepped out and hurried to help Mama set up the camp kitchen. Christy put the flower tablecloth on the table. She took out the paper plate, cups, and napkins. She found the salt and paper and set them in the middle of the table. Then she helped Mama put all the groceries in the camp cabinet. You're a good worker, Christy, said Mama as she gave Christy a kiss. Meanwhile, Daddy hammered in all the tent sticks and set up the tent. When the Lovejoy family finished setting up the camp, they started off to see the lake. Peter stayed caught up in the sunny, warm grass. Christy walked as fast as she could over the rocky trail. She could hardly wait to get the lake and listen to the waves. There it was. They sat down on the warm white sand and watched the waves. Fish jump across the waves. White bird shot overhead waiting to eat a fat fish. Christy jumped up and ran along the sandy lake shore for a little ways. Christy found some pretty stone and broke them for Daddy and Mama to see. Soon it was time to go back. They walked back slowly. Christy wondered how Peaches was doing. She hoped Peaches and enjoyed a nice nap in the warm grass. Christy walked in the camp and looking for pages. Christy didn't see pages in the sunny grass. Christy looked all around the campsite. She didn't see pages anywhere. She called Pages, Pages. A faint meow was heard from somewhere in the trees. Christy walked over to a very, very tall old tree. Way up. In the top of three said Pages. Pages was scared. Why Christy was gone. Pages was scared of the little porcupine. So she ran up the tree. Pages, shout Christy. Pages, Pages, please come down. Peaches seem frightened, said Daddy. Peaches will come down later when she isn't scared. At supper time, Peaches still had not come down. Peaches smelled the stick. 
But she was still too scared to come down. After supper, Daddy told a camp ranger about Peaches. The camp ranger promised he would help later if he, he could. Christy was so sad for Peaches. She decided to stay by Peaches so that Peaches wouldn't be alone. Daddy and Mama said it would be alright for her to sit at the bottom of the tree that Peaches was in. Christy sat and waited. She didn't have anything to do while she waited. She just waited and waited. Poor Peaches, way up in the tree, was so scared and lonely. Christy soon became tired of waiting, but she would not leave Peaches. Daddy and Mama come over and wait too. But soon they had to get camping ready for bedtime. While they were busy lighting the lantern and getting out flashlight, Christy wait. Peaches, she called. Peaches, please come down, Peaches. Meow, said Peaches softly. But she would not come down. It was getting dark when the calm ranger finally came. Christy was so glad the calm ranger had come. He had a long ladder. The camp ranger put the ladder by the tall tree and climbed up the ladder. Poor Peaches was scared. Peaches climbed higher and higher. Finally, the camp ranger reached her. The camp ranger was carefully carried Peaches down the ladder. Meow, meow, said Peaches. Peaches was glad to be down. Soon, Christy was tightly holding her little kitty sitting by the campfire with Daddy and Mama. Christy, said Daddy, I'm so glad you stayed by Peaches when she was scared. She knows you love her. Peaches knows she can depend on you. Yes, agreed Mama. Peaches will always have you for her friend. I love my Peaches, said Christy. I'm so glad I didn't leave her even when I got tired. Purr, purr, purr. When happy Peaches as she began to lick a stick bow. Now we are finished with our character building story. Bye bye. Bye bye. God bless, God bless you. you.